Welcome back guys, it's me the Novel Editor here, talking about some Nintendo Direct news that was on April 1st, which is kind of weird because there was really no jokes from Nintendo, let's be honest. But let's get to the news guys, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. So, like I said, I'm really sorry for not uploading this uh, 13 days ago, I'm just uploading it now because first of all, Mewtwo is coming out tomorrow, or April 15th if you're watching this after. Yeah, this is really cool though guys, and I'm really excited, uh, I'm gonna make a tutorial and like show what his moves and etc. Showcase as soon as he comes out. Uh, so I'm gonna go on the website and show his um, other pictures. Be uh, actually, that's too late. I'm not gonna do it. Maybe you never know. I'll probably do a Mewtwo screenshot to showcase. I don't really know, guys. I'd rather just do uh, um, his move set. I'm not gonna compare it to Melee because, like, like I said, I've never played Smash Melee. I played the old Smash Brothers, but never Melee. I don't know why. I'm weird, right? Anyways, let's go to the news. Mewtwo Strikes Back. Um. Like I said, we have not heard about this ever since the Smash Brothers Direct and the Miiverse um, stage and, you know, a lot more news. But unfortunately, the Miiverse isn't announced in this Direct, but I'm fine with Mewtwo. And he's coming out on April 15th for people that registered him on Club Nintendo like I did. Or not him, Smash Bros. Wii U and 3DS. And I believe you get two codes for 3DS and Wii U, but if I get extras, I'll probably give it to my friend. And if I get too many extras, I'll give them fans. Like I said, though, here's some screenshots to entertain you guys from Down Direct. Oh my gosh, it looks so weird, like his moveset. His Final Smash is cool, though. I'm not surprised that it's Mewtwo Y. Like I said, I was kind of predicting it anyway, because first of all, Mewtwo Y is in the movie. I had, I don't remember seeing Mewtwo X in the Pokemon movie. And also because uh, there's already Charizard X, it's not Y. You can't choose in between, so why not put a Y evolution? Mewtwo Y, alright? And it's really overpowered looking at this, unless they just, Nintendo raised the knockback. It's very cruel though, I mean, Mewtwo literally messes with their mind, and according to this, they explode. But you never know, that's just probably how it is. But for other people that are interested in buying him, he comes out on April 28th. For uh, $3.99 on each version, or for both versions, $4.99. You might want to get both versions, if you have both versions. So again, separately, because we'll save money. But if you only got one, well, you're going to lose a couple money. But then again, it's your choice. And like I said, people who uh, registered before March 31st, it gets their code tomorrow, April 15th. And there's going to be an update um, sometime this week, according to Nintendo. It's going to be version 1.06. And it says for 3DS and we tweaked char character balancing. Sorry, guys. I haven't talked in non-news videos for a while. I'm glad to be back. Sharing functionality on Wii U, photos, Mii Fighters, replays, custom stages, and more. Cool. Alright, let's get on to some more news. There's uh, gonna be some new Mii costumes available April 15th, tomorrow as well. I can actually afford these. Um, For both versions, for 3DS and Wii U, it's 1.15, and uh, for each, it's just 75 cents. This is really cheap, guys. But it's really worth it. Smash Bros. t-shirt, skin, Dunbon from Xenoblade Chronicles, which is almost one of my favorite games. I haven't played it yet, which is kind of weird and ironic. Cat suit, monkey suit. Which looks like the monkey from Monkey Ball, because it has a flower on its head. Link outfit, which I guess is okay. I would have just preferred a Skull Kid in some other outfit, like, let's say, uh... Well, we already have Mario Luigi. Okay, I don't even know. Maybe that's what they had to choose. Um, they could have chose something else. I don't know. But Link just seems weird, but Skull Kid is awesome. Majora's Mask? It's not Skull Kid, anyway. Majora's Mask, but you can think of it as Skull Kid. X? X is armor, not X. X is armor. Mega Man X is armor. Which is cool, I love Mega Man X. I actually have the game on my phone. Proto Man armor, which actually looks like Proto Man himself. Okay, so here's the big news, guys. I'm really excited, JT's really excited for Lucas, because he came out of nowhere. Not even joking. In the Nintendo Direct, they announced him, and he's coming out sometime around June. Maybe in summer. But you never know, because sometimes Nintendo pushes things back. And I'll let you guys enjoy some of these screenshots. And yeah. Alright, anyways, let's move on. Smash Brothers Fighter Ballot. This is where people get to vote for characters such as uh, Nintendo's example, Cat Mario, which I do not want. So don't vote for it, guys. And yeah, I'm personally voting for Ice Climbers. More deserving characters that came that need to come back from Brawl. Snake, I'm okay with. I will vote for him as well. Snake, Ice Climbers, you're talking about Wolf. You're also talking about, I know, Roy from Melee. Because I had never played him, and I'd love to see how his moveset was. The only thing I would be a little confused with, I, I think Nintendo would do it, because there's already clones, I'm sorry to say this, clones. Um, Young Link, which would be a third Link, which I guess would be cool. It's Majora's Mask and uh, Ocarina of Time Link, as a kid. And Pichu, 
So there's two other clones if they do decide to return every single character that was kicked out. And yeah, I'm sorry about that. But if that does happen, then we'll obviously get Young Link. Unless they're just going to be like, Toon Link is Young Link. Uh, no he's not. Have you read the freaking thing? No. Pichu, I don't know. Like I said, I never played Melee, so I don't know about those characters. And I think Young Link was a character, I'm pretty sure. Okay, but anyways, Amiibo news, guys. I'm really excited. Okay, so May 29th, we're going to come out with 8 instead of 6. 8 Amiibos. Uh, Nintendo decided to add 2, and the worst part is they're exclusives. Oh, great. So we got Greninja, Charizard, Jigglypuff, Pac-Man, Robin, Lucina, Wario, and Ness. I personally ordered Ness, and I'm really lucky for that. But like I said, I couldn't order Jigglypuff. Greninja is going to be some around uh, April 27th or 29th, something like that. Uh, a month ahead, so be prepared, guys. I'm excited for these Amiibos. I like how they're already going to finish the Pokemon line, but then again, Mewtwo's coming out, so they're going to have to add him. But I'm guessing he's going to be like next year or something like that. Charizard, so they're finishing it off already, which is kind of sad for the Pokemon fans. I would have personally liked if the last two Amiibos Pokemon were in each other's set. Speaking of new sets, but let's talk about this. Robin and Lucina are really rare, guys. Um, Hopefully, they turn out to come back in stock like Marth, but I'd personally like if they were just common. Which would be kind of weird, and like, Pac-Man would be rare. I hope Pac-Man's not rare. I don't think he will be. He's a third-party character, and Namco's like, Hey, Nintendo, we don't want you to make Pac-Man rare, just like Sega came to tell Nintendo. Because Sonic's really common in Mega Man. I mean, I've been in GameStop, and all I see is Mega Man and Sonic. I'm not even joking. But yeah, these Amiibos look great, though. Uh, yes, I'm def definitely gonna try to get these. Like I said, uh, I had a trouble with Wave 3, uh, and Super Mario line of Amiibo. I don't have Gold Mario, fortunately, or I didn't- Well, Silver Mario's not out yet, so I can't say, or didn't get him. So, speaking of the new sets of Amiibos, this will be- I'm gonna count this as in separate waves. So, we got Wave 4, which is May 29th, releasing on May 29th, 20 days after my birthday, which is 8 Amiibos, Charizard, Greninja, Robin, Pac-Man, Wario, Lucina, uh, Ness and Jigglypuff, and let me be specific, Biker Gear Wario, whatever you want to say with the biker suit, I don't know. And, here is Wave 6, according to me, you guys can call it Wave 5B, July, Dark Pit, and Palentina, or Palenta, whatever you guys want to call her. It's kind of cool, there's two Kid Icarus, but then again, Pit was really, really, really freaking hard to find. And I would love to at least get one of these if, there was n if they were too rare, but I would love to get both, but I hope they're common. September, which is actually really cool, because Xerxes Samus is coming out, and we all know a bunch of people are going to buy that, and Ganondorf. Dr. Mario, Bowser Jr., and Olimar, and Pikmin, or Olimar. Uh, I hope there's a Alpha Amiibo. That would be cool. And like I said, uh, Amiibos. Uh, Mewtwo and Lucas will be an Amiibo, which is cool, because that means the fighter ballot has to have those characters' Amiibos. So if you guys want to see a Waluigi Amiibo, you might want to put him in the vi vote ballot. You know, I was going to say fighter, Viter. I don't know. And here's a new uh, app announced from Nintendo. It is called Amiibo Tap Greatest Bits or Nintendo's Greatest Bits. When you scan an Amiibo, it's going to be a random demo of a game. You have up to nine scenes and you are timed, unfortunately. Um, it's just a demo, guys. Not even a demo. It's worse than a demo. But yeah, it's available. Oh, I didn't. Uh, oh, it's coming out sometime in spring. I know. I've memorized this. I memorized it for sure. At first, I lost it, but you know, it's coming out around spring, guys, so don't worry. Uh, let's move on to Yoshi's Woolly World Amiibo news. So, there's gonna be Yoshi Woolly World Amiibos. There's gonna be uh, a green one, pink one, and blue, and they're coming around fall at the same time as Yoshi's Woolly World around fall. This fall, though, so hopefully, it doesn't get pushed back like Zelda Wii U. And these Amiibos look great, and Judging by they're already announcing Amiibo, I'm pretty sure this will come out. No joke. Um, there is the new mode. Uh, w uh, including the Amiibo mode. When you scan your am Amiibo, it can be green. I wonder if it can be the Smash Brothers Yoshi or Mario line of Amiibo Yoshi. Most likely, because that would be kind of cheap. And basically, it spawns another Yoshi and it does your exact same move, but I think you can throw him. And he'll be a little help if you're just one of those people that plays games by themselves. This game will be for two players, hopefully it's four players. I love multiplayer games. And it's fine with two, I just love playing with four people, because I have a bunch of friends, you know? Um, so here's a new mode. Uh, classic mode, which is basically, if you're a Yoshi Island fan, slash Yoshi Story, because it's mainly Yoshi Story, because you don't have babies anymore. I can't say that. 
But yeah, it's more like a Yoshi story. Um, classic mode or mellow mode. Mellow mode allows you to fly and has a cute song like hang, hang, hang. If only Yoshi sang. And it looks like uh, Yoshi's final smash from Smash Brothers, bro. And Wii U and 3DS. And yeah, classic mode is basically like a story mode. If there is a story, I hope there is, it'll be a cute story. And speaking of other stuff, Mario Maker will be available in September. And happy anniversary, Mario. 30 years. I'm excited, and I can't wait for Mario Maker. I am hoping there's multiplayer. That would be awesome. Maybe four people, because I would love to see 8-bit sprites of Yellow Toad and Blue Toad. Or you can do Peach and Blue Toad, like Super Mario 3D World. I'm fine with either way. And I would love if you guys can make a Super Mario 3D World in Mario Maker. I would love to make 3D levels. That would... Uh, probably be a lot of space for you, Nintendo, but that would be awesome for us fans. And also Splatoon! Awesome Splatoon. There's gonna be ranked battles, Splat Zones, um, Battle Dojo, which is with your, I think, Amiibo? No, it's not with your Amiibo, sorry. Well, actually, it is, right? No, 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 no. There's a sp separate Amiibo mode, which uh, can help you unlock some costumes and outfits and gear and weapons. And that's only exclusive to those Amiibos. There's gonna be a triple pack that comes with the Inkling Girl version. Inkling boy version and a squid inkling that's green and yeah I could see a bunch of customs I'll just change the hair color and probably the squid color and the only way to get the squid is in the bundle which I, we, I'm pretty sure everybody if you guys don't want the squid there's always another option um blue inkling is separate and girl inkling is separate depending on I'm, I'm gonna depend on this because I'm a collector and if I have to I'll get the girl inkling and boy inkling separately if there's no art of the amiibo that's separate on the back, if you know what I mean, in the bundle. Because that would be cool. Because then I would be smart and just cut them into individually three pieces. And then, you know, get buy a bunch of amiibos that are cheap. Like, anywhere. Or just buy amiibo boxes on eBay. It's just literally put that side of it back so then they look like brand new amiibos. And you can basically make your own squid brand new separate amiibo if that happens. But, Virtual Console is really cool because... There's N64 games and my childhood Nintendo DS games, which is really fun. Uh, Mario Kart DS is one of the games that are, I think it's already out. I don't think so. No, 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 I take that back. But according to this uh, Nintendo Direct, it should be coming soon. And it looks really cool. You get to uh, change the s settings for your screen. You can make it horizontal, especially for other games like Yoshi's Touch and Go, which I believe is out already on the eShop. And you can make your controls just like an N64 controller, which I didn't like N64 controllers. Too, I don't have big hands, you know. Um, normally, games will cost uh, for N64 on Virtual Console for the Wii U, $9.99 to $11.99. Nintendo DS games will be $6.99 to $9.99. It's really cheap. Great deal. Sorry about that. Awkward pause. Uh, Yoshi's Island DS and Super Mario 64 are already available after the Nintendo Direct, and they're still out. Um... I'm hoping for more Wii Virtual Console games. I want Xenoblade Chronicles on my Wii U, the first one. Because the 3DS, I'd rather like to have one on the go and one in my house. Yoshi Touch and Go is already out. Same with WarioWare. Touched for the Nintendo DS. They're both Nintendo DS games. I've never heard of Yoshi Touch and Go. Might want to get that. Donkey Kong fan, 64. It's coming out April 16th. Two days. Um, If you're watching this after, you might want to go check on the eShop. Yeah, April 23rd is Mario Kart DS release date, and Paper Mario is April 30th. Great way to end um, the the month. My voice is correct. Great way to end the month with Virtual Console. Paper Mario, because everybody wants Paper Mario for Wii U. And I want one, but I hope it's not like the Wii. I didn't really like the Paper Mario Wii version. I love Sticker Star. People hated it. I don't know why. Probably because I was a noob, Paper Mario, because I played the Wii one, but I didn't like it. And I guess Sticker Star was more like an RPG to me, so it was a little easy for me. But yes, anyways, let's move on. Atlas uh, announced a new, I believe, um, a new Fire Emblem crossover game. It was, It's not new, they've announced it before, but they showed footage, and that's all I'm going to say. I believe it's coming out next year sometime, just like the new Fire Emblem 3DS game. Uh, Pokemon Rumble World... Oh, it's literally just called Pokemon Rumble World. That was I, Okay, I guess that. Um, It's coming out... And April 8th, which is already out. And it's free, guys. It's like that uh, Pokemon Candy Crush uh, game. I forgot what it's called. Pokemon Tech It, something like that. And you, it's basically like the same thing. If you run out of diamonds, or like in the other game, I think it was hearts, you have to buy them on the eShop. Or wait. But I don't. in, in the this game, you cannot wait. 
you have to go back in levels, I think, and play. I'd rather just go back in levels. I mean, that's what I always do in Pokemon Rumble. So I'm already used to that. But if I have to buy something, I'll buy it. I mean, it's free after all. Puzzle and Dragon Z, which I want to play. It's Puzzle and Dragon Super Mario Edition, Brothers Edition, um, will be released May 22nd. Awesome. I really want this game. I've never played Puzzle and Dragons, and I love Mario RPGs. And you can pre-order this at Nintendo.com today. Uh, demo available is going to be April 30th, which is kind of ironic and cool because Paper Mario Virtual Console comes out on that day. And there'll be a demo for the new Mario RPG on the 3DS. So yeah, Codename Steam is one of my uh, wanted games on my list. I want Monster Hunter 4 next before that. But now I heard that it was really stupid because the, the you had to wait. But here's the best part. If you have Nintendo 3DS XL or normal 3DS small, uh, there's gonna, there's already is an update, I believe, that makes you go two times faster. And for the new 3DS, which is really cool, they speed up three times faster. And it for uh, forwards the enemy's turn, which I actually played the demo and I was like, why does this take so long? Is there a way to fast forward it? There was, but it still made it slow. And by the way, there's a tournament that already ended, um, on April 5th, so I don't want to talk about that. Um, if you guys are one of those Mi, Mi Plaza 3DS fans, there's going to be a DLC available for $4.99 each. If you can buy uh, Ultimate Angler, Background Z, and Street Pass Mi Plaza Premium each, $4.99. Or you can buy um, Ultimate Angler, Battleground Z, $7.99 together. But you st I would probably get the bundle and then get Street Pass Mi Plaza, but I'm not going to get this. But my boys feels it's game. That didn't even make any sense. My boy feels it has his game called Xenoblade Chronicles, and it's coming for the new 3DS XL only, not 3DS guys. Fortunately, um, 3D, and it's gonna come out April 10th, which is already out, and I already posted on my Twitter. Oh my God, my boy! And I'm gonna do a let's play, but I'm gonna do a bunch of other stuff at the same time because I want fans to be introduced to Xenoblade Chronicles 3D. So for example, I'm gonna have like a Smash Brothers series, and where I do For Glory, I think I'll return that. But then people are, if they're interested in seeing Shulk's game, I'll be like, hey, are you interested in seeing Shulk or other Let's Plays that I'm doing right now? Go ahead and watch them. I'll be like, hey, I want to see where Feels It is from. I... And here's the kind of good slash worst part. Worst part for Amiibo fans, if they want to spend money, but hopefully there's a cheaper way to get these. Um, There's Animal Crossing Amiibo cards. They're cool, but like I said, um, one of the characters is the... 80, no, 95th character, which is Peanut, and this means that there's going to be over 95 cards. Way to go. I don't want to get these. I, if I could, I'll just buy them on eBay, but if there's like a cool packaging, I'll probably at least get one packaging. I don't know. I don't know what Nintendo's going to do, especially to pack the Yoshi's Worldly World Amiibos. Hopefully they're in, unless they're really small, they would not put them in a box. If they were... If they were, like, huge, then they would put them on a keychain and, and, and playing them at Target or something like that. The new Animal Crossing game that uh, supports the Amiibo cards is called Animal Crossing. Welcome to Animal Crossing. Happy Home Designer. It seems like a sequel. And those of you who don't have any 3DS XL like me yet, um, there will be an Nintendo 3DS XL or 3DS scanner that will come soon. No date yet on Nintendo. Where you put your Amiibo or Amiibo card or plushy Yoshi's Really World plushy over it, and it basically uh, puts uh, the data. And here's the cool news for me: I love Mario Kart 8, and I don't play it too much anymore. I mean, who does? Let's be honest. But the DLC uh, pack two, which I pre-ordered from the eShop, uh, we get to see more footage. Isabel, a villager, and we get to see a girl villager. It's optional. Which is cool, I think. I mean, who would want to be just a boy villager? You could be a girl villager. And they'll be available April 23rd, which is really surprising. That's literally next two weeks. Um, Yeah, it would be, uh, let's see, today's Tuesday. Thursday. Just like the other pack released, I believe. And Dry Bowser will be in it, too. I forgot about him. Four vehicles. So far, we already know City Tripper and Streetola. It's a beetle that moves on the street, I guess. Eight courses. There's Animal Crossing Cup, or it's called Crossing Cup, and the Bell Cup, which I hope is there's a Super Mario 3D World stage. Maybe the Bowser Casino in the last world, which is really fancy. And, like I said, we're gonna skip some stuff. Um, oh, and I forgot to say this, Amiibo Tap will be a free download, so you don't have to buy it. And, like I said, 
If you have a friend that has the same amiibo as you, don't worry for that amiibo tap. The greatest bits of Nintendo, you know? You can always get a random game. You don't have to just get one character in order to get one game. That would be cool, though, if, if you just each amiibo would give you a separate game. Because I would love to put my boy feels it and play it on my Wii U. Like, a little bit of it. Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, and there's going to be amiibo support in Mario Kart 8 more, which is really cool. Because it's all third party. Most of it. Not really. Like, one third of it. Uh, Mega Man, Pac-Man, and Sonic get their own costumes, which is really cool. I think this is awesome. Um, who, who's, who knows, we'll probably get more third-party support. With the more amiibos that come for the DLC for Smash Bros., that'll be awesome. Uh, Toad is also going to be a feature, which is pretty cool, because he's one of those amiibos that only has one feature. Captain Toad, but now he's got Mario Kart 8, which is pretty cool. Uh, Wario gets a feature of Villager, Rosalina, Bowser, and Olimar. Olimar, I wonder what he'll get. April 23rd, there'll be an update for free, for free, or for free, um, 200cc, which is really fast, I mean, this is gonna make courses really, really, really fast, and I like how they approve that it's fast, it's because Mario went really fast in Nintendo Direct, I can't show footage, because I don't want to get copyrighted, but it even says, crazy fast, braking is crucial, and by that, by that, they mean, like, if you press the brake, you are screwed, and I'm gonna show you some screenshots of the Pac-Man, Amiibo, me, and the Sonic one, I personally don't like the Mega Man one, in the background of Sonic. It looks pretty different, but that's because you can't see it. Now, here's some news that came out today, guys. You Pokemon fans, you're going to want to hear this about me. I'm in a Pokemon club at my school, which I will not uh, give details. But I basically get to play Omega Ruby or Pokemon Oras. Or Oras. And uh, Pokemon Perfect Timing announced Hoopa. Um, they are planning to release him more sooner. Because they already showed footage for US. I believe he's already out in Japan. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not surprised because there's already a Hoopa movie coming out. Pokemon anime, which I don't watch. But I guess I want to watch this because Hoopa opens portals for legendaries to come in their dimension. Which is really cool. Or not even dimension. Maybe they come from space. It's really cool though. And this looks like an interesting movie because they, so they had like Dialga. And like I said, I'm not surprised because the Coral Coral showed footage of Hoopa. And they showed movie footage. So I was like, okay, this is probably coming to the US. But yeah, I'm really excited for the Pokemon Club because if I get to win tournaments from that club... I can actually get plushies, and I'll show you guys. Maybe I can even record it, possibly. But yeah, guys, I want to thank you guys all for watching. This was a really long update for Nintendo news. And tomorrow, if I get this at 12 a.m., the code from Nintendo as soon as possible, um, I will show me two footage, mute two footage. Um, I will do a tutorial, say his moves, what his B attack is, you know, because some things are not, uh, you know, announced, and what Kirby looks like when he eats him. His taunts, his real final smash, maybe you can move around. Oh, one thing I have to mention, why does it Mew does Mewtwo get to move around as Mewtwo Y in his final smash with Lucario and Charizard X? But apparently in the footage, it doesn't look like it. Because he just made people get confused, so does that mean you have to get close to these people? Looks like it. But it looks like he has big range, because this is a huge aura. Pretty huge, more than Lucario's biggest. But then again, there's like this weird counter thing. But I love how it's really powerful. Maybe it won't have much range. Because it's it seems pretty powerful. I mean, it messes with their heads. I mean, poor Wario and Dr. Mario. They're getting wrecked in their brains. And they explode. But the really good thing is that um, for people that are registered Club Nintendo codes, you're going to get them soon. Tomorrow. Unless Nintendo has something bad to announce. Like, oh, sorry, Sakurai just has to release them next year. But you already showed us footage, sorry. He wants to change me to wide to move around. No! Sakurai, just release him, okay? You can do that update sooner or later. We just want Mewtwo! Alright guys, thank you guys all for watching. Once again, I'm really sorry for not uploading anything. This is gonna be a long thing to upload. It's the least I could do to make up for my missing days. I was on vacation, and I was just a little tired. And like I said, if I wanted to upload, it'd be stupid because I had to use Wi-Fi outside in Mexico. It was really stupid. And be the, by the way, it was in Los Cabos. And I did do a vlog. It's pretty short, actually, I think. But I think I uh, talk about some news about my life and how the channel's going. And yes, guys. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. And peace! Subscribe and like. And keep updated. Sorry if I don't upload, guys. But see you guys. Peace!